the two basic features of evoking the relaxation response are a repetition and the disregard of other thoughts when they come to mind. And what those two things do is break the train of everyday thinking. And often, that everyday thinking is what's stressful. It's not a real saber-toothed tiger in front of you. It's your fear of losing your job. It's your fear of illness or what have you. Then we return to the literatures of the world to see whether these two steps that are breaking the train of everyday thinking had been described before. And every single culture of humankind that had a history had these two steps. There's a commonality. So if a person argues my technique, my religion, is better for bringing this forth than another, it's foolish because it's a bodily response. Just as there are scores of techniques that are stressful, same fight or flight response, so there are scores of approaches that evoke the relaxation response.